Today, I want to talk about how to attract your man using the law of attraction, especially when you're over 50. Hi, I'm Jackie Sabrin, executive love coach and CEO of a company called Engage Dead in the Age, and we help women to deliberately date and consciously create the man of their dreams. I married my own soulmate match husband, Michael, after being single for eight years, and I'm still on the honeymoon and passionate about helping you get engaged dead in the age. Let's dive right into our topic of how to use the law of attraction to attract your man when you're dating over 50. And this is one of my favorite topics because I totally use the law of attraction to attract Michael, my husband. And if you like the content, please don't hesitate to share it, like it, and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an episode because this really works. And um, I know you're gonna find a lot of value in this in this training. And so there's so many ways to use the law of attraction to attract your soulmate. But here are the top three things that I've been really resonating with recently and I wanted to share those to you because they're near and dear to my heart. So the number one thing that you can do uh, to ignite the law of attraction is to is to really show a lot of warmth to a man. It's just it's just to make sure that you you are radiating love. A man can pick up your frequency so easily. Men have such a radar for it. And you want to make sure that you check in with yourself and make sure that you are radiating love outwards. And how you do that is by being really grounded in who you are as a woman, accepting yourself, loving yourself, appreciating yourself, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, and finding your own source of joy from within. Not looking external to to fill your cup but looking internally to keep your cup full and when you do that you become a man magnet because you radiate love because you are love at that point because when you're taking care of yourself and loving yourself and adoring yourself and doing the things you need to do for yourself you're happy right and when you're happy that love just comes out it's just a, an energy that people can pick up have you ever met anybody um, that you just felt so much love from or they were so kind or there was just something about that person man or woman that just was charismatic and you really were drawn to them well that's what this is it's this love frequency so make sure that you're vibrating and sending out a warm loving heart to men everywhere you go to men and women as long as you're internally your compass is set on your true north the things that make you happy you're taking care of yourself you're going to radiate that love naturally and men are are so drawn to that everyone is so I can't encourage you enough to make sure that you are taking care of yourself so that you can you can share that love and let it spill over your cup will be running over at that point okay so the second thing that is really important to um, ignite the law of attraction is to stay out of fear and scarcity and this is an easy one um, to fall into because when you're single there feels like a lot of scarcity because sometimes we can get stuck in focusing on what we don't want and that's that's the problem so that gets us into fear and scarcity when you're focusing on what you don't want you start to attract more of that you start to notice it more and more have you ever been out like when I was looking to buy a new car right after actually when I bought a car I bought a white car and everywhere I looked I saw white cars everywhere and I was like wow I was so focused on that so I saw them everywhere but before I didn't notice it so that's what I mean by focusing on something when you focus on something especially lack and scarcity it expands okay it grows bigger and your fear will grow bigger and your idea and the beliefs that there aren't any men available is going to be magnified now when you remove your attention from something that you don't want the the same thing happens only in the opposite it disintegrates it starts to to in, to decrease and so that's why it's so important to manage your mind and so not living fear and scarcity you can't be in fear and at love at the same time you're either resonating fear or you're resonating love so check in with yourself going back to the first thing that i suggested make sure you're resonating frequencies of love and if you feel like you're in fear and scarcity, right then and there, make sure you take a deep breath and reset with what you're focusing on. And all you have to do is go into gratitude to do that. Start to think of 
all the things that you're grateful for. Start with the, the chair that you're sitting in, the clothes that you're wearing, the people that, that you love that are in your life, your plants, your house, your car. Just start with the very basic survival things that you have and you will see that you have so much to be grateful for and that it immediately shift your vibration back into that love frequency that men find so irresistible. Now, I want you to stay to the very end because I have a, a free gift for you that I want you to take advantage of. All right, my last um, my last piece to how to attract a man using the law of attraction that I'm very, very um, successful with using these tips that I'm providing for you is, this one's the biggest one probably, it's clearing out your emotional blocks. As long as you have unconscious beliefs resonating like there's no good men out there or I can't trust men or I have to be perfect or all men leave or men abandon me, these are all negative unconscious false beliefs or maybe they're conscious to you. But as long as you're, you have those beliefs and you haven't worked through releasing them, following them to their source, finding out where they originated and healing that part of you, they act as a magnet. Those beliefs actually attract similar uh, situations into your life, similar experiences that are connected to that belief like all men abandoned me. And so you'll go out with a guy, but then all of a sudden you start to have all these fear, fear based thinking around if he's going to call you back or not. And you spend a lot of time obsessing whether or not he's going to call you. And in the process, you're really abandoning yourself in that. And I know that might not make sense to you, but think about it. When you're sitting there thinking, is he going to call me? Is he going to call me? And you're obsessed and you're looking at your phone. You've abandoned yourself. You're like giving up all your power to whether or not somebody calls you. And in, in that, in that process, you're really abandoning your own needs you're putting um, your happiness in somebody else's hands and you're you're objectifying that per, per person in the process and that's why this is such an important piece is to make sure you clear out your emotional blocks because until you do the service filters on how you view and how others view you especially men so you have to do the deep inner work there's just no way around it and liberate yourself from all those false beliefs that are absolutely not true because you are amazing you are a spark of the divine you are entitled it's your birthright to have everything you want in life you need to start believing that it can happen to you and for you uh, and um, I just know that belief is really where everything starts you really Really need to examine your belief system and make sure it's congruent with what you really are asking for because if if somewhere in there you don't really believe it can happen that's sabotaging you as well so I hope these three tips to attract your man using the law of attraction are helpful um, they certainly work if you work it now for my free gift make sure you go to soulmateiq.com right now and take my short quiz it's at my soulmate assessment and what this is going to do is going to show you the frequency that you're vibrating at and why this is important to you because you're always sending out a frequency and i want you to take this short quiz at soulmateiq.com so you can find out where you're vibrating at and i'll send you an assessment along with a feminine exercise to help you shift further into alignment so you can speed up this process it does not need to take long four of my clients just got engaged in the last three months four of my clients and a dozen other of my clients clients in my program right now are in relationships. It's happening fast. Love happens fast, but you need to know the principles of these universal laws because if you apply them, they work. They really do. So I hope this was helpful. And as always, I'm just sending you so much love.